Well, this is a moment uh, I've been waiting some time for. I've uh, reached the promised land of a, a pilgrimage, an aviation history pilgrimage. And I'm standing here, you can see behind me, and if I turn round, stretching away behind me also in that direction, is uh, a disused runway at the, uh, the airfield at Wisley near Weybridge in Surrey. Um, and this airfield was um, well, over here behind me now is this was an aircraft factory and it was Vickers, Vickers Armstrong um, Limited. This is where they built and flew out all the VC-10 four engine long range airliners. Um, only about 50 were sold in the end. It wasn't a commercial success, a wonderful aeroplane, but uh, not a commercial success. And for me, it's so much part of my childhood and part of what got me interested in aviation, not this piece of the world, because of course I grew up around Manchester, but Manchester Airport and BOAC and later British Airways operated VC-10s out of Manchester on routes out to New York and uh, Canada. Um, amazing aeroplane, the sound of those Rolls-Royce Conway engines, uh, the thunderous roar of those engines and the lovely singing sound they made when they were taxiing. You know, this place here, all that's out in the sort of Surrey countryside, very wooded here, uh, I, you can almost hear those ghostly engines here. 1962, the first flight, so the aircraft would have come from the factory, which is now be gone, the factory behind me, taxied on to this runway, gone along to the eastern end, turned round and blasted away. Golf Alpha Rictio, Golf Alpha Romeo Victor Alpha was the registration of the first one. Uh, there's a chopper, a uh, Chinook, it's, uh, I'll turn, no, I can't turn the picture around, you might see behind me a Chinook. Uh, that, we're near to RAF Odium which is, uh, was the Army Air Corps, may still be the Ar Army Air Corps, it's not RAF actually, I think it's, it's the Army Air Corps base there, that Chinook was almost certainly to do with that. If you look behind me now, behind my uh, ear here, can you see in the distance above my finger, there, is the structure, that is uh, the Ockham VOR, so Ockham is the village nearby, and the VOR, the VHF Omni Range Beacon, is uh, a now uh, rather outdated navigation beacon and it's also uh, marked one of the holding stacks for London Heathrow, the Ockham VOR. So this is a public footpath that runs straight across the runway, it's actually called Hatch Lane and there's a farm behind me um, and I've just come, I've parked just in a public car park beyond those woods, there's quite a lot of footpaths around here. So just that moment in time uh, yeah, I've been wanting to do this for some time because the, the site now has been bought by, I can't remember, by a large construction company, I can't remember if it's Wimpy's or Taylor Woodrow's, and this is going to become, like everything else I suppose, it's going to become housing, a big housing development, and so this runway won't be here for much longer, and, and it is, for me, it's a very, uh, a very uh, poignant place to be there, uh, the VC-10, amazing, what an aeroplane that was, and uh, how exciting it was for me as a boy to see those those wonderful aeroplanes coming in and out of uh, of Manchester Airport. Never flew on one, sadly, never flew on one. The last commercial air flight was 1981, and they continued, of course, with the Royal Air Force as tankers and transporters until 2013. Amazing, six, uh, 50 years service. So let's just leave the, apart from the distant roar of traffic, um, Let's just leave this now very peaceful place and just remember all the people who were involved in the development and building and operating of the wonderful VC-10.